Hello everyone, I am Boneshwari, Aston Professor, School of Commerce in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today, now we are going to see about Business Law, Unit 4. Bailment. What is bailment? The term bailment refers to a legal relationship between two parties in company law where assets or property are transferred from a bailer to be bailee. In this relationship, the bailer transfers physical positions of a piece of personal property to the bailee for a certain period of time but retains ownership. There are three different types of bailment which benefit the bailer, bailee or both. Rights and duties of bailee. Bailey has some rights that he can enjoy as well as some duties to the buffalo. Rights of bailee. Rights to get compensation. Rights to terminate the contract of bailment. Rights to get expenses. Duties of bailee. Duty to take care of the goods, duty to return goods after the accomplishment of purpose. It is the duty of the bailee to return the goods to the bailer, to make proper use of goods bailed. The use of the goods which are mentioned under the contract, the use must be according to the contract. Duty not to mix is own with the goods of bailer, duty not to question the title of the bailer. What is the pledge? Pledge is a kind of bailment. Pledge is also known as bond. It is a defined under section 172 of the Indian Contract Act 1892. By pledge, mean bailment of good as a security for the repayment of debt or loan advanced or performance of an application or promises. The person who pledges the goods as security is known as pledger or bounder of the person in whose favor the goods are bludged is known as bludgy or bounty. Essential features of a bludge. The subject matter of the bludge is good. Good bludged for the shall be in existence. There shall be the delivery of your goods from bludger to bludgy. What is indemnity? The word indemnity means securities or protection against a financial liability. It typically occurs in the form of a contractual agreement made between parties in which one party agrees to pay for losses or damages suffered by the other party. Indemnity agreements for board of directors. In order to attract high quality professionals to serve as members of your board of directors, it is common place to have an indemnification agreement. The identification agreement protects the board of directors against liability losses or lawsuits that may result from serving on the board of the company. Types of indemnity. Express indemnity. This is a written agreement to indemnity where the terms and conditions by which the concerned parties must abit are usually indicated. This include insurance indemnity contracts, con construction contracts, agency contract, etc. Implied indemnity. This is an application to the indemnity that arises not from a written agreement but more from circumstances or the contact of the parties involved. Guarantee. A guarantee is here basically the promises made by third party that they will cover a person or company's debt should they unable to continue to the themselves. Types of guarantee in business law. Contract of guarantee, visual party of a contract of guarantee, different types of guarantee. Thank you.